everybody and welcome or welcome back to my youtube channel so i haven't actually posted on this channel in a while because i've just been in a bit of a slump i'm gonna try something a little bit new on this channel because i said when i started this channel that i wanted to do a little bit of everything and not feel restricted to one area and i have really been restricting myself to one area that being beauty and project planning and I love both. I actually really need to do an update for my project plan because I have finished so many products. I also actually made myself a booktube channel. However, I'm not sure if I want to keep my two channels separate. So this is going to be like my little tester, I guess, like my little taster vlog of if you guys like this kind of thing. And if you don't, then I can just keep the book stuff separate from the from this channel stuff, basically. So I'm going to try and do kind of like a reading vlog and a life vlog in one so you're going to kind of see like my hectic life and i'm also going to update you guys on my reading progress and then we can see if you guys don't like it you don't like it um basically i'm going to talk about books and i'm also going to talk about my personal life so if that sounds good to you guys then there you go but you can always skip through the book sections and i will see if i can put some timestamps in the description box to let you guys know when I'm talking about books because if you're not interested in books then you can skip over it but if you're only interested in the books and not stuff that's going on in my life then I you can just skip around those timestamps and you'll see kind of like those areas. I'm starting this on a Wednesday. Tomorrow I have three of my college A-level lessons and then I am actually going to be, to be seeing my boyfriend. I'm just going to go on a walk basically so that should be really nice. I'm also still waiting to hear about what's going on with my theory test as well because my driving instructor said that it will be cancelled but I haven't had an email to say that it's going to be cancelled yet so I'm kind of on the edge there. I don't really know what's going on in that situation. So I'm currently part way through three books which is insane um, and I guess you could say four because I also am working through a book for my English class. The first one I am going to talk about is The Royal Assassin by Robin Hobb. This is the second book in the Elderling Along series from Robin Hobb and these are all really really chunky thick books. I love this world though it's so emotional but this is like an epic high fantasy genre so it's quite a slow paced book. I am 282 pages through this book so I'm just under halfway. I believe there's yeah there's like 650 pages so I'm almost i'm just a little bit off halfway then i also have harry potter and the prisoner of azkaban which is the third book yes in the harry potter series i never read these when i was younger but i was i'm reading them with my best friend sophia and she loves the movies and she told me to read the books so we're reading them together so i'm on prisoner of azkaban i'm not sure if i'm going to con continue through with this i don't have that childhood connection to this book series like a lot of people do um and I'm not gonna lie, they all follow the same boring structure. And then finally, so these two I was reading before I hit my reading slump, and then I picked up The Dam by Rennie Ardia um, this weekend actually on Friday. Um, the weekend that just went, and I haven't had really much time, well I say really much time to read it, I've almost read. I read pretty much half of this book, I read 200 pages in one sitting, so I've been really, really waiting to read this book. It was like a really, it was really anticipated for me and it came out this year. The uh, release date was actually set back. So it's a bit of a confused, jumbled mess here at the moment, but I'm actually going to sit down and get some reading in now. Um, I'm not sure if me and my boyfriend are FaceTiming tonight. So I will have a look at that. I'll probably see, I'll let you guys know if we do. But right now I'm going to go and make myself a cup of tea. And I'm gonna sit down and I'm gonna do some reading. And then once I've done that reading, I have a few notes that I need to take down from my sport lesson that I missed. So I'm going to take down those notes, um, ready for my lesson tomorrow. Okay, so I've taken a this strange um, turn of events and I'm now looking for my Rocket League disc to play with my boyfriend and his <laughs> So I went from having a nice chill, nothing but reading in bed night to gaming which I don't actually mind so okay guys so I have just got home pretty much I've been home for around probably 10 minutes now it's just gone six o'clock in the evening um I finished college at quarter past two I came home got changed and then me and my boyfriend went on the walk that we planned to go on it was actually really nice however it did get really really cold um I'm definitely gonna have to take gloves on our next one I'm freezing so I've brought my bedding down stairs <laughs> um i don't actually have any college work that i need to work on today so it's going to be a free 
day plus tomorrow i don't start college until 12 45 so i have plenty of time in the morning to do any extra work if i want to do any extra work so i've just made myself a cup of tea and i'm gonna sit down with my book now which is the damned by renee rda and i am just going to read a little bit i think until my mum comes home she's grabbing dinner on the way home so i'm gonna have dinner then uh, when my mum and sister come home but i'm on page 313 of this oh my god it is so flipping cold in my bedroom <laughs> and i normally like i'm not gonna lie most of the time i just wear my hoodie without a t-shirt underneath and there is a t-shirt underneath this hoodie and i am still freezing flipping cold really lazy morning didn't really get out of bed until 11 and then i got ready for college because my college is at 12 45 today and it finished at four sadly with the new lockdown i actually got some bits from new look i got um this hoodie which is meant to be like a, a really slouchy comfy oversized fitted hoodie and it just doesn't look very good on me so i was gonna return it well i need to return it so i'm hoping that the returns policy was extended like they did the last lockdown um so i can still return it i mean it's a nice thick quality but it just doesn't look right on me like it's the wrong fit for me and then i got this really stunning skirt also it's like a faux leather kind of skirt um and the issue with this because I brought it because as well, it's like this little frilly bit on the bottom, so it's gonna give me extra length. And I always have an issue where a skirt will fit me at the front, but as soon as it hits my bum, <laughs> as soon as it hits my butt, um, the material just kind of ruches the skirt up and it's always too short at the back, but it's perfectly fine at the front. So I brought this one because it had this really cool, like this little ruching detail on the bottom, but this just doesn't fit me very nicely at all. Um, which is really sad because I really, really liked it. I did actually buy quite a few books of all Waterstones um, recently. So I don't know if they're gonna come within this vlog, like if that order's gonna come within this vlog, but if not, if I do, if I choose to do another vlog, then you guys will see that. I have to do some checking on the sizing of my, of a present that I got my boyfriend because I think I may have screwed up, screwed up my size choosing, which, it's fine because if it doesn't fit him i can just either one keep it to myself if i can't return it um and then and just wear it as like a, a nighttime hoodie or something or as a jumper dress um or two if i can return it, i can just exchange the sizing which was which is what i hope to be able to do so updates on reading i finished my book i finished the damned let me grab it here you go I finished The Damned by Renee Arde, so this looks kind of different from when I first showed it to you guys because I had the dust jacket off, so I just have the hardback because always the dust jacket falls as you're trying to read. Um, I finished this last night. Um, I gave it three stars. I didn't love it as much as I thought it was going to do, which was so sad because I love the first book in this series. So, yeah, I don't know, but I have just ordered um a book that has kind of like the theme that i like the most in this book in it so hopefully i like the new book series that i just brought <laughs> hopefully i like the new series that i just brought basically um but yeah it is really sad because i also brought it in hardback which hardbacks are expensive um and i brought it in hardback because i have read the first book three times before this book came out so i was like you know i love the first book so much it's worth buying this one in hardback because I can reread it without damaging the book and I just didn't enjoy the second book and it's so sad.
well when you put this on time lapse mode and I had the blind the whole way up my skin looked like I had a filter on it so it was quite funny to experience but yeah I just did some kind of like glowy warm toned makeup and again it still has that like filtered look on the camera I'm not too sure why I was there because it just stopped recording I feel like even here like it looks like I've got a filter on my skin I'm confused I feel like there's a filter on my camera I don't know I'm gonna try and have to figure that out because my skin not looking this hot <laughs> but yeah just got some brown wings, glossy lip and bronzy curly skin because I just had a really weird like menstrual cycle month like I had my period two weeks ago and I've started again so my skin's not looking the best but I just feel a lot better when I have a little bit more makeup on so yeah um and then I'm gonna go blow dry my hair and I have my sister braid my hair today I'm not really 100% sure yet but been a really uneventful morning so i am back from work i've been back for a while now i'm not gonna lie i am currently wearing myself a bath yeah, this is much better it's much more comfy attire so my amazon delivery came so basically what i did is i had ordered a few books from waterstones and then i ordered um two off of amazon that were just a lot cheaper on amazon number one and then number two they had actually the format of one of the books i wanted in paperback whereas in waterstones they didn't have it on the waterstones website they didn't have it in paperback just yet so i just got it off at amazon instead two books i think both of them were published this year i know this one definitely was i have the second book here because the other one i got from waterstones um to support a local bookstore obviously um but i have the second book which is blood and honey and then i got a book from an author that I have been dying to try because I've heard so many good things. This is a Deadly Education from, well, by Naomi Novik, um, Lesson 1 of the Scholomance. This is going to be a new book series for her. This is actually a lot skinnier than I anticipated it being. I think that's a little bit better. My skin is not looking the best. It's definitely having a hormonal moment, but I'm just gonna kind of let it have its moment this week because hopefully that means, fingers crossed, that it'll be kind of nice. Um, yeah, it's Monday. I need to do some coursework today. I'm gonna hopefully smash out um, a little bit. Well, I'm gonna say at least like two hours on each of the two pieces of coursework that I have for my A-levels. So I'm hoping to do that. Um, as well as get some extra notes down. Right now, I'm currently waiting on my delivery to come because it's coming with the Royal Mail and they said that it should be here between nine and two. So from nine o'clock this morning until two. 30-ish minutes to make said pasta and then eat said pasta. So I feel like it's a little bit too late to do that. So let's try and find an alternative. That's what we got. Your turn is looking quite poor, so we're gonna make a toasty. Okay, guys, I'm back from college. I actually took a longer walk home from college because I was walking with my good friend Hannah from English, and we were walking together for a little bit until she got to the train station, and then I walked to just the rest of the way by myself. It was kind of like a long walk, but I was gonna go on a walk tonight anyway. The only unfortunate part was we choose to do that on the day that it's gonna absolutely piss it out. Um, there's a couple of questions that I have left to answer. I also am gonna to have to log into Google Classroom and take down any stuff that my teachers have set um, as well. Gonna take those down um, and then upload one of those because I'm gonna do one of those today. But yeah, Google Classroom basically is where all of my work is, but my law teacher tends to stick to Moodle, which is where my particular college uses most. So. He tends to use Moodle with all of our PowerPoints and stuff on, but majority of my other two class teachers use Google Classroom or just emails. Okay, I've been rambling yet again. I'm gonna get on with this. 